Okay, Mr. Smith, are you up? Uh. Are you up? Yeah. Okay, um, your discharge papers are signed and um, we're ready for you to um, leave. Your transport is downstairs, so I'm just going to help you into your wheelchair and I'm going to wheel you down. And as we go, I'm going to give you your prescription and um, your discharge papers. Okay? Yeah. So let me, let me help you out, okay? Okay. Okay. Yep. All right. Hold on Just here. Take it easy. No. Oh. Come on, come on. Oh. 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 Just a minute, just a minute. Okay. Let's turn you around. Oh. Oh. Oh, good. Great, 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 great. Okay. So you see that okay? Oh. Okay, good. Good. All right. Oh. So, look before we forget your glasses. Here are your glasses. Oh. Okay. So, um, so the doctors prescribed some medications for you. Uh -huh. So this one is your Lasix, okay? And this one is your Metropolo, all right? uh -huh. okay? And you have to remember to take them every day. And this and this one is your spir Spirolactone. Spirolac? It's just your blood pressure medication, okay? Uh -huh. All right? All right, just make sure you take your medications every day. And these are your discharge papers, all right? Yeah. Discharge? Yeah. All right, so we'll be seeing you, okay, and drive safely, okay? Uh, okay. All right, all right, see you next time. Take once a day. Oh. Oh my god, I gotta pay. Oh. 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 Oh, I should have got life alert. Hello, how are you both doing today? My name is Analia. I'm going to be your nurse. Mr. Smith, nice to meet you. Mrs. Smith, nice to meet you. So what brought you in today, sir? He fell. Okay. So when did this fall happen? What, what preceded it? Uh, he, he, because of his new medication, he goes to the bathroom more often and he fell last night. Okay, so that's a, a common concern or a common problem that happens with this medication. So, sir, you were diagnosed with congestive heart failure. Do you kind of understand what, what that is? The old ticker ain't working no more. Okay, well, that's a good start. So your heart isn't working as, as well as it used to in pumping blood around, and you're retaining a lot of water. So what the Lasix, what the pill is called that you're referring to, what it helps you to do is to get rid of that extra water and salt that, help, that makes you retain that fluid and makes your heart, heart work harder. So that's why he has to urinate more often than he did before. So when, when did you take that medication? Uh, nobody mm. told us about that. Mm -hmm. Nobody told us that it would make him urinate more and uh, he, he took it last, last night. Last night. Okay, mm -hmm. so maybe that's a good place to start at. So generally we advise taking it in the morning. So it takes about a half an hour for the medication to start working, but if you take it in the morning, you know at night when you have to go to the bathroom, you're running to the bathroom, maybe the lights are off, and that can pose sometimes a dangerous situation like what occurred with your husband. Yeah. So if you take it in the morning, you're awake and alert, and it, and it makes it a little bit easier to access the bathroom. Where's your bathroom at in your house, sir? It's... Oh. Uh -huh. What do you mean? The bathroom is at the same level. It's on the same level? Yeah. Okay, it's so it's, is there anything blocking the way? Is it easily accessible? Uh, oh, someone left a trash can there yeah. yesterday. Okay, so maybe it's a good idea when you get home to make sure that there's no different things blocking the way to the bathroom to make it easier to access. So another thing that we like to mention with the Lasix is that because you're losing a lot of water, 
and even though it's to make fluid go away, you don't want to stop drinking water and stop managing your fluid because if you're losing water, you can get really dehydrated and, and it's really bad for your body. And, and actually, I have a booklet here for you I thought it might help a little bit. So this is what, this has all the different drugs that he's on, including the trade names and generic drugs, because he's on a lot for his blood pressure and for his heart, mm -hmm. so including LASIK. So this sort of gives you a little more information about um, maybe questions that you might have or concerns, and it can help you understand about the fluid question that you asked and about his diet. And talking about diet, another important thing to remember is you're going to be, with that water loss, you're going to be losing a lot of potassium. And potassium kind of regulates your heart rhythm. Mm -hmm. So do you like bananas, sir? No. Okay, well that's okay. Their dates and avocados also have a lot of potassium. So we want to make sure, even if you don't like bananas, that you're going to get some other sources of potassium in you. Okay. Do you want to see this? Do you want to read it? Or is it okay like this? It's fine. Okay, okay well, fine. You know, we can always read over it together and discuss okay. anything that you want to discuss. So I like to, to leave this here with you guys because I know that there's a lot of questions when you get the diagnosis of congestive heart failure. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different meds. So this will help you. You don't have to take it all in at once because I know that that tends to be a lot and nobody's asking you to do that. But that's why I wanted to come in here early before you got discharged so that we can discuss any questions you have, maybe um, write them down for your primary care provider if you need to. So what medication uh, um, should we take with Lasix or what medication shouldn't we take with Lasix? Okay, that's a very, very good question and that's one that shows that you're thinking about safety already, so that's really good. So you just want to make sure that you're going to be taking blood pressure medications with Lasix and generally the doctor looks at compatibility before he prescribes it to you. But if you have to take any other things like certain antibiotics, which can also affect the side effects of Lasix and make it stronger, then you want to make sure that you know all the prescriptions that you have and you sort of double check it with your primary care provider. Maybe bring in, if you have a lot of bottles, you don't have to write them all down. You can bring them all mm -hmm. to him or her and they can look over it and make sure it's compatible with the Lasix. Okay. Okay, and then as far as the fall that you took, did you try to get out of bed really fast, sir? Uh, I had a pee. Okay, well that's a normal reaction to the LASIK. So what we recommend, because sometimes dizziness or lightheaded or loss of that balance occurs when you take the LASIK. So what we recommend is when you're getting out of bed after you took it in the morning, to get up really slowly. You want to get up head first, then you want to get out by your feet. And you want to get up slowly and maybe if you need assistance have your wife here help you to get to the bathroom but you want to be sure the most important thing is to get up really slowly because your body is trying to adjust like you know when you you're sitting down or lying down and you try to get up really fast that's what happens so, so you say it makes you go to the bathroom how how fast like when he takes it he he just go to the bathroom very right away question. or yeah. very good so usually it takes about a half an hour 45 minutes for it to kick in and it lasts for about four to five hours so sometimes doctors depending on the dose he's only given one dose so he'll only need to take it in the morning like we talked about mm -hmm. but if you were to be given two doses then you spread it out during the day but you make sure not to take the second dose at night more in the early evening mm -hmm. but um, what we can do is, because you guys have about four days till you're discharged and you'll be discharged to home, mm -hmm. I can come back in and we can talk more about any questions that you have about Lasix or any other drugs that he's on, and maybe we can practice getting him out of bed to the bedside commode. And do you have sure any question for her? No. No? Okay. Well, well, if you come up with questions later, you can always ask me or have your wife write it down for you so that we can make sure that both of your guys' questions and concerns are answered. Okay. Um, thank you. And now can you take care of his pain?
Are you going? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you gotta tell me. <laughs> so this one is your Lasix, okay? You go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> I know, I got it. I'm so sorry.